What's up YouTube? It's your boy Wanna be Matt. Welcome to another Pokemon Go episode and to my channel. In today's episode, we're gonna do some review of all the current updates that's happened in the Pokemon Go app and with Niantic. I don't know what just happened. Let's do this. I'm back. I play Pokemon Go. Before we jump into the updates with the app itself, let's jump into some updates of my journey. So, as you guys can see, wait. as you guys can see on my screen, I'm now level 20. I'm still level 20. Bruh. And I need about 3,000 or so experience points to get to level 21. I have 125 Pokemon. Um, some of these I um, will transfer in later, but it's all uh, good. How is my Pokedex looking, you say? I've seen 92 Pokemons. I've caught 92 Pokemons, but I've only seen 102. My Pokedex is still a long way from being completed. Let's jump into the different updates with Pokemon Go. Some of the biggest changes we can see within the Pokemon Go universe are spawn changes, nest changes, the new appraisal system, Nantic is banning Pokemon Go players, generation 2 Pokemon. Let's break each of them down and get you guys up to speed. Let's go. So let's talk about bans. Niantic uh, has been issuing out bans to Pokemon Go players all over the world. A friend of mine got banned had two accounts on the same IP address. Some of the stuff that can get you banned are basically anything that has to do with breaching the terms of services for Niantic. You can read it, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you use GPS spoofing, if you use any automated bots, if you have, as I said, two accounts on the same IP address, um, if you use um, Poke Advisor to like check IDs of Pokemon, all these things are breaching the terms of service, which in turn can lead to you getting banned. I'm all for the banning um, because I think it creates a level playing field for some Pokemon. Have you guys ever walked to a gym and see a level 32 player with some level 3000 CP Dragonite? I just don't think it's fair, especially where I am. I know it's not possible to reach that level that quickly um, so that's why I'm all for the banning let me know what you guys think of the banning in the comment section below and let me get back your feedbacks nest changes so Niantic has again changed the nest in Pokemon Go so if you guys don't know what nests are nests are where a certain species of Pokemon will spawn more than the rest so where near where i live there was a eevee nest so you could always go there and catch eevees now that eevee nest has turned into a venonat nest so now there's always venonats there so apparently those have changed again i haven't checked the um the, that location so i don't know what nest it's turned it has turned into but I'll definitely check that and let you guys know. I'll give you guys an update. So Niantic did some backdoor, some backhand upgrading and what they did was they increased the spawn rate of Pokemon. So now Pokemon are spawning more frequently and rare Pokemon are spawning instead of all the and the we know we are sick of those too but yeah so you should see i've seen an increase not dramatic but an increase in the pokemon spawn rate um, prior to the update so it's a step in the right direction for niantic and pokemon go so i'm all for it let me know in the comments if you guys have seen any increase in the pokemon spawn rate in your area with the new updates of the Pokemon Go app, um, Niantic introduced the, the appraisal system. What that is, that is like 
the IV checker in a way. So instead of using third party websites like Poke Advisor that can get you banned, they've included appraisal system within the app to for within the app for you to check your Pokemon's I the way it works is that depending on your team that you're on, your team leader will say some some phrases, different phrases, and then depending on the phrases that they say, that can lead that tells you what the IVs of each Pokemon is. So for example, I'm Team Instinct, Team Instinct, but for Team Instinct Sparky, if your Pokemon's IV is um, at a top level IV, 15 or so, Sparky will say your Pokemon, say your Pokemon Dragon Knight who is, can battle with the best of them. Something along the lines of that, and that would tell you that your IV, that your Pokemon IV is above 80%. So that's what the new appraisal system is about. I think it's a good addition, seeing that we can no longer use those third-party sites to check the IVs of your Pokemon, and IVs are pretty crucial in building your Pokemon, a strong Pokemon team that Niantic introduced. So if you are an avid Pokemon Go player, you know that Niantic is planning on releasing Generation 2 Pokemon. Yep, that will include 100 new unique species of Pokemon within the Pokedex and within the Pokemon Go universe, which is awesome. With those additions of those Pokemon, Niantic has some serious work cut out for them because they have to reevaluate the CPs of each Pokemon, the evolution train, the evolution train of each Pokemon, um, region specific Pokemon, time specific Pokemon. There's a whole lot of factors that go into when they introduce Generation 2 because you know that Generation 2 gives you new evolutions for Onyx, Scyther, Eevee, um, Porygon, and um, I think there's 10 Pokemons from Generation 1 that have new evolutions in Generation 2. So that's pretty exciting and that's something that we're looking forward to as Pokemon goes as Pokemon Go players. So I'll keep you guys up definitely keep you guys updated with that as I get the information. So yeah guys that's basically it for today's video. So we spoke about banning. Niantic will ban you if you breach their terms of service. Spawn rates. Niantic increase the spawn rates of specific Pokemons in regions. Generation 2 Pokemon. Niantic introducing Generation 2 Pokemon soon. So guys look out for that and start saving up those candies because that's going to be something epic. I can promise you that. Niantic has a lot of work cut out for them, but they are getting the work done. The new appraisal system, Niantic's new appraisal system um, to check IVs. So once you learn the, once you learn the, what's the word? Once you learn the, bruh, I don't know. I can't think of a word. Once you learn how to read the IV, the different responses for your team leader to check IVs you should be good to go. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check out more info. And lastly, we spoke about nest changes. So as I said, Niantic changed the nest. So if you used to have a Jotini nest, it's probably now a um, Tangela nest versus the Electra Buzz nest or a Jinx nest. So it seems that they're always switching nests every, every couple of weeks or so. So that's something for you guys to look out on. It was a good video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or want to see me do any video relating to Pokemon Go, leave your questions, comments, suggestions in the comment sections below and I'll get right back to them. I read every comment, every suggestion, feedback, and I'll try to incorporate them into my videos. Um, that's it for this episode of Pokemon Go. It was an update edition and I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Go episode. 
where I'll try to get out and get catching some Pokemon on my journey of becoming a Pokemon master. It's your boy Wannabe Matt. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. One, two, one, two. I don't know, but are you guys sick of these clips of me walking? I don't know, but I love these shots.